120 police were injured the night Bradford went up in flames. They came under siege from mainly Asian youths after a day when threats to march in the city by the National Front had turned up white hot tension. As fast as the police charge up the road, the riot charge them back. Missiles are being thrown, petrol bombs. This is now, at the minute, as you see it, a sustained assault on the police. White Abbey Road. Their drivers are stranded in extreme weather conditions. Uh, we'll get you out, okay? We've got another Land Rover coming in from the other side. Right. We just, uh, what are you going to do? Pull me through? No, we'll just let you be leaving your car here for the time being. Weather conditions in Yorkshire rarely get any more extreme than this. The top of the Pennines between the villages of Littleborough and Rippenden, it's minus five degrees up here, or minus fifteen with the wind chill. And if you look behind me, this a few hours ago was a road. He had no money to get home, so Shane Oldroyd stole a single-decker bus. For 30 miles, a police helicopter tracked Oldroyd on his rampage through six West Yorkshire towns. A judge called it wicked, dangerous and reckless. The police video showed Oldroyd cutting up vehicles, repeatedly driving on the wrong side of the road. More than 50 vehicles were hit, traffic lights knocked down and a quarter of a million pounds damage was caused to property. Oldroyd will now serve at least three and a half years in jail. When arrested, he said to police, So what? I took a bus for a nice little ride. John Cundy, BBC Look North, Wakefield.